Hello, I'm Matt Cuff from the house.com, and this is a Nike SB Brun Hyperfield, brand new shoe that came out. Uh, it's a low cut skate shoe designed for anyone that wants a shoe that offers a lot of impact protection and great board feel. Overall, uh, the length is true to size, but the width, I'd say, is just a little bit narrow. And it's kind of a combination of the metal torso width of the shoe and the elastic style gussets that keep the tongue centered with inside the shoe's lining. Uh, it's kind of interesting um, because I don't really have a really wide foot, but it's wider probably than average. But it is, it's a little bit difficult to slide your foot into this thing because of the elastic style kind of like gussets. It is a nice feel though, I'd have to admit, like you don't have to run your laces super, super tight without getting that, and you can still get that kind of snug feel you, you normally get if you were to have tight laces, if that makes sense. Overall though, it's a, it's a great shoe. It's easy to break in because they're vulcanized rubber also. Um, the counter is gonna be a little bit stiffer than most Nike SB shoes. Sure, it's gonna be socked up on top, but like overall, there's a bit of firm kind of padding along that back side. And there is padding along the collar of the shoe. There's more padding on the medial than lateral sides than there is along that backside top, and that's kind of why it's a little bit more soft. Now the lining is mesh, it's a tight woven mesh, and there is great perforations along the lateral and medial sides of the shoe that allows for the shoe to be a little bit more breathable. And then of course there's the tongue. Now the tongue does have a little bit of stretch to it, which is kind of unique, a bit of padding, and if you can see, um, lots of ventilation holes that are about the size of kind of like, you know, a hole punches that you find in a piece of paper. Um, there's quite a few of them, about 20 or so, and it, again, allows your foot to breathe really, really well. There's seven eyelets, of course, and um, it's gonna be flat style laces. Now, the upper is made out of uh, classic style suede, and then there's this fox printing of poly uh, polyurethane, or PU, uh, material that keeps the wear down, so you're not gonna go, go through these shoes as quick, as a normal pair of skate shoes. Now, the interesting thing about the Brune Hyperfeel is actually the midsole. The midsole and the insole are actually kind of combined together to create this kind of fused drop-in insole. Uh, as you see, it's a uh, polyurethane. It's actually really, really thick. Um, it does have great 3D contours for an arch support and uh, a kind of a heel cradle, and then a little uh, soft top to it as well with perforations, again, to keep uh, the shoe nice and uh, breathable. And one thing I really like about it though is that it's really thick in that heel area, so when you're landing some uh, drops, hitting stairs, you can absorb a lot of the impact, but then it, it's gonna slim down and thin down when you get to uh, the toe area. And another thing about that, which makes the sole really cool is that, well, it has really great ripple style tread, but the sole is only about a quarter inch thick. But then there's these side panels that actually act as a foot frame that keep that mid slash insole intact and in place. This is an awesome shoe. It's a Brune Hyperfeel. It has a lot of uh, comfortable assets to it, of course, and abrasion resistant foxing. This is an awesome shoe. And of course, you can check it out at thehouse.com. Yeah.